Hello, I'm Alan Doherty from the University of Kentucky, who's also the editor-in-chief of ATVB. We're currently in Boston at the Vasco Discovery Meeting. We've just completed the journal's uh, plenary session, which uh, featured three early award winners who have come to the, the top of each of their areas of arteriosclerosis, thrombosis, and vascular biology. Included in this session is one of our editors, of which we're fortunate to have worldwide authorities in each of the areas of the science of the journal. This year, the pr presentation was by, uh, by Dr. Ziad Malad, who's sitting with me. So Ziad, could I ask you first off, can you just give me some background on your scientific development? Thank you, Alan. I'm uh, currently professor of cardiovascular medicine at the University of Cambridge and director of research at NSERM Paris. My background is really cardiology. I started my studies in, in medicine uh, doing cardiology and later on during my medical studies I met with Alan Tedgi uh, and started a, a research uh, career with him working on the immune mechanism of, of atherosclerosis. So could you just give us some highlights of your great seminar that you've just given? Yes, so what I wanted to uh, show here is that what we know that atherosclerosis is an inflammatory disease mostly initiated by um, accumulation of LDL cholesterol within, within the artery and we know that cholesterol and inflammation combine together in order to promote lesion development. What I wanted to, to show is that we are very good at reducing the cholesterol risk with statins and PCSK9 inhibitors. However, we are very bad at targeting the, the inflammatory pathways. And I, what I did is uh, that I presented the main, the major uh, inflammatory mechanisms, whether, whether initiated by innate immune responses or adaptive immune responses, showed how these interact together in order to promote disease progression and highlighted some of the most important pathways that could be uh, eventually targeted mm -hmm. in the future. And do you see extrapolation of these findings to the human therapy? Yeah, of course. So uh, as I said in the beginning, I'm, I'm still a cardiologist and very interested in clinical translation. And what we are doing now is that we are identified two major pathways that we think are important in the progression of the disease or re the regulation of the disease. One targeting uh, T cells called regulator T cells and then the other one targeting B cells uh, in myocardial infarction. So we have now two clinical trials uh, uh, ongoing in Cambridge, one on um, administering to the patient slow dose IL-2 in order to increase Tregs and reduce inflammation and potentially reduce vascular inflammation. And the other one is depleting B cells at the acute phase of myocardial infarction in order to try to limit uh, post-myocardial infarction remodeling. Great, thanks, Ed. And I'd like to thank you for listening to our summary of the plenary session for ATVB Journal and to advertise the fact that we have three early career awards but we'd really appreciate everyone really thinking about this when they submit to the journal and declare their interest. Thank you.